We're here at, uh, in Toronto at Grange Park at the uh, Biodiversity Biojustice 2002 picnic and we're going to learn all we can about uh, organic food production and uh, everything else this show has to offer us. So what, what are you? I don't know actually I didn't make the cut. Oh you didn't make it? You're just a big dude. Just a big puppet. Alright cool. Um, Awesome. Probably, All right. uh, a good thing to have turn. Probably a genetically modified uh, customer or something. All right. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> but but what these companies want to do is actually control seed markets, control. Uh, all these types of things. And they talk about all these nice products they want to produce, like golden rice, for example, and so on. But the, I, think, I think that most of that is propaganda. Because the majority, I think the last figures I saw, 78% of all uh, crops, genetically modified crops that are planted, uh, are actually uh, to, for, you know, genetically modified for herbicide resistance, which really allows these former chemical companies that have become biotechnology industry to actually continue to sell their uh, their products even past their when their patents are gone and so on and they're even talking about some some genetic engin some of the genetic engineering I think right now if you plant like roundup ready in Monsanto's uh, it, it'll grow if you don't spray the herbicides but they're talking about other ones where it's genetically modified, so if you don't spray the herbicide, it won't actually grow. I think that most of that is propaganda. The, the pollen blowing from canola onto the milkweed around the fields, and so the butterflies die when they go into cocoon. I think that most of that is propaganda. And the milkweed, and then the butterflies die. And also ladybugs, too. Ladybugs. Yeah. I think that most of that is propaganda. It's genetically modified, so if you don't spray the herbicide, it won't actually grow. Like what company makes the uh, these canolas and the soybeans? Oh, that I don't know specifically, but I know Monsanto, and all the Roundups, um, like the Roundup Ready soy, Roundup Ready canola, Roundup Ready corn, all those, of those. Those ones are bad for the um, for the monarch yes. butterflies as well. Yeah. No, I think the fish genes was for uh, strawberries to make them resist the cold. But I think that most of that is propaganda. I find the problem is lack of education because if people really knew what was going on they wouldn't let it happen. So basically that's, that's why I work for Greenpeace. No, I think the fish genes was for uh, strawberries. I find the problem is lack of education. Cause like what company makes the uh, these canolas and the soybeans? Oh, that I don't know specifically, but I find the problem is lack of education. Cause the, the pollen blowing from canola. I find the problem is lack of education. Cause and also ladybugs too. Ladybugs. Yeah. Lots of people have to die before they put regulations in effect. Knowledge does not equal change, but emotion does. So even if you can get to somebody's emotions to make a change, that's what has to happen. Lots of people have to die before they put regulations in effect. It's like a corporate takeover of the entire food system. Knowledge does not equal change, and also ladybugs too. Ladybugs. Yeah. So even if you can get to somebody's emotions to make a change, that's what has to happen. And I mean, these same companies, if you really look at the connections, they're involved in biological weapons. Lots of people have to die. Before. There's all kinds of strange connections to, to weapons making, you know? It's DDT. But even if you can get to somebody's emotions. It's DDT. They're involved in biological weapons. Knowledge does not equal change. Lots of people have to die. Before. I find the problem is lack the, of the education. The pollen blowing like from canola onto the milkweed around the fields. Emotions. Emotions. Lots of people have to so die. The DDT. butterflies the die is when they go to the people have to die before they put regulations in the problem is lack of education.